go into face-off where we will see him and Nagatron duking it out. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Is oh, that yeah, Relics? Brother. No, it's no. Nagatron. How you guys doing? Oh, it's not it's not Squirrelin. It's Blazzy today. How are you doing, guys? Pretty good. One million percent. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than 100%. <laughs> All right, well, Fulcrum, I think the, the big question we have to ask is, how serious are you taking this match? Scurry hard is like a single grain of sand in the Sahara Desert <laughs> that is Fulcrum madness. Tower of power, too sweet to be sour. Too hot to handle, too <laughs> cold to hold. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle this. <laughs> Great answer. Blazzy, uh, how serious has your team taken... Uh, Fulcrum in this upcoming match. Sorry, I just still I can't get over this because I was going to do Hulk Hogan, but I didn't have the outfit. I couldn't find it. <laughs> I'm upset. You know, we talk about this new versus old a lot on WGLNA. Of course, Fulcrum Gaming have been uh, kind of leading the charge in the NA scene. Is Scurry Hard capable of taking that away from them? I mean, a lot is is going for Fulcrum Gaming. They've obviously had the experience, they had the exposure, they have the um, just the raw talent. Does Scurry Hard match up to that? Oh yeah, we definitely match up to that. Great answer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nagatron, give me, give me a little bit of, of dialogue to your opponents. Tell me something a little bit controversial that, that we can expect from Fulcrum Gaming. We are the best there is, past, present, and future. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I don't know if that's like a voice changer or if that's his real voice. I, <laughs> I'm having trouble controlling myself right now. Are you looking at him man? and listening to him. <laughs> okay, Blazzy, any, uh, any words for your opponent's Fulcrum Gaming? What you gonna do, brother? What you gonna do, brother? When Scurry Hard comes running all over you. <laughs> I've been everywhere, from soaring with the eagles to slithering with the snakes. The same fire the dragon breathes, he shall burn by. <laughs> oh, we know about dragons breathing fire, Nagatron. <laughs> oh, my we God. Know. We know. <laughs> all right, well, let's go to the coin toss. Uh, Fulcrum Gaming, you are higher seed. Heads or tails, sir? Oh, tails. Well, tails is called, and guess what? Tails fails. Heads, it is Scurry Hard. Would you like to choose map or defer? Uh, we'll take Himmelsdorf. Himmelsdorf and uh, Nagatron? We'll take the south. South side, so Himmelsdorf, <laughs> south side. Good luck, gentlemen, and uh, fantastic. Amazing. <laughs> Truly <laughs> amazing, <laughs> Nagatron. He grew out his facial hair for a day just for us. That is. Decide The pain train is coming as Nagatron leading the way of Fulcrum Gaming. What are the tank lineups, Mr. Rukio? For Fulcrum Gaming, we have two 5100s, two IS-3s, and a T-69. Not unusual for Fulcrum Gaming. And for Scurry Hard, we have two 5100s, two IS-3s, and a T-69. Mirror matchups again. I love mirror matchups. I love seeing them because I, I feel like they, 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 uh, it, so much skill is shown between the f in the fight between these two teams. You don't have some odd play style going up against another. It's not, you know, your, your fighting styles against each other. It's your tank individual skills against each other. Yeah, what I think is so fascinating about it is you both have the same capabilities. You both have the ability to do the same damage. But how do you utilize that? How do you mm -hmm. position it? How do you really flex your muscles in certain positions? That's something that's so fantastic. Two T1s will spot each other out. 3A ham. I guess 3A. I don't know. Hmm? Oh, I'm reading the tank. Oh. Oh, you're reading the stuff. Oh, I'm not seeing that. Yeah. I'm seeing. I'm on relics right now on the top of the hill as he is spotting out. Uh, I think that was Squirrel Tag. Although he has gone dark now. Ah, yep. Squirrel Tag. There he is again. That is a fantastic spot, by the way, where Squirrel Tag is. If it, it is it is great because of the cover that you get yeah. and the angle of fire. It's very safe to back off the hill where Squirrel Tag is, and you get some some very interesting spotting angles. I, I've been a fan of that spot, and you see many teams use that, many T1 drivers use that, and it's a mark of, of experience and knowledge of the map when also, you use it. Also, sheer, I would say, volume of your tank being exposed. Mm -hmm. 
for relics to go and attack and engage against his opponent, he has to commit a lot of a lot of space to hit in order for him to kill his opponent. Whereas Ooh, Skrotek royal. can do this little tiny bit of, I would say, um, hold down position, even though T1s aren't really known for their hold down. Son of Hail will be taken out Absolute by Son royal. of Hail. No, or excuse me, by Absolute Royal, you're right. On the hill, on that's the why hill. I was uh, I was yelling out. I was like, oh my gosh, I see this Absolute Royal oh. double kill. Double T1 kills. Are we going to see a big push down the west line? Uh, it's really hard to say because that hill control gives you the ability mm -hmm. to cap fast against your opponent. If they do a west side push, you do that counter counter attack. So that's why we see a lot of hesitation coming out from Scurry Hard. And there is that T1 all the way on the west side in H1 that is able to see incoming pushes F0X over there to receive that easily. For now, it looks like Scurry Hard will just give up entire map control, only take the top left quadrant, quadrant number four in mathematical terms. Hmm. And they will probably just be trying to draw this out. Yeah, at this point, they have no eyes. They've lost their eyes, and that is so huge because Fulcrum, being the kind of team like I was talking about, in in their natural, I'd say in their natural state, they're going to play slow play like this, where they're going to try and get some nice control. I'd say a little bit of luck for Absolute Royal, but uh, you could also say poor positioning for Scurry Hard. They played into Absolute Royal's hands. He went the perfect route. He was first coming to counter Squirrel Tag on the hill, and then after that, well, he just got lucky, and there was uh, Son of Hail over in D4. Just perfect shot for Absolute Royal, and he just took it, and it was just easy to kill right there, which gives Fulcrum a huge lead. Now Relics on the hill is going to just sit at the top, spot a little bit as Fulcrum gets themselves collected. They're, they're thinking about where they want to go because they've seen some tanks. They saw, they saw an IS-3, I believe, in about D4. That was, uh, I, I think that was uh, Dodoma or Rylak. I, I can't actually remember at this point. And that, that indicated a west side kind of yes. layout. So, yes, yes. so with that, Relics is going to move down. And you're, you're making assumptions. Push. Yeah. You're making assumptions, but also, if you look back at all the Scurry Hard games on Himmelsdorf, mm. the same thing is consistent. It is always on that west side. And it looks like a couple of fires are going down to no Dodoma taking one shot already. A couple of fires are being lined up. Hugo Maximus and Friction in the IS-3s are able to get pretty nice shots. Fantastic shots, I'd say. That was, uh, I believe, he, uh, Absolute Royal would have been the only tank I could, I think that could low roll mm -hmm. quite so much yeah. to, on that hit for that was on Dodoma. So Dodoma took a little hit here, and that's the, every lead counts on top of that. It looks like Relics is beginning his journey to cap, and on the other side, uh, F0X is yeah, beginning to is flank. Cool. That's going to be great spotting. Friction taking a decent hit here, going down to 1,092 oh, no. hit points. If I'd, I'd be worried if I were uh, Friction, that was a big hit. Yeah, 408 damage being done by the IS-3. Constant misses from these IS-3s. It's because they don't want to commit just yet. If they commit, they will expose a lot. Soviet going to track over this large mound. Yeah. You will yeah. take a shot. Risky right there. Yeah. Really risky. And um, it's getting a little crazy in here. Yeah, I'd say so. Nagatron trying to get shots through the window, but Dodoma is smart enough to avoid those. As, oh, he's going to actually back Ooh. up into the cubby. Nagatron going around. Absolute Royal getting a nice crossfire on Rylak at this point. Soviet ISD. getting shots. Oh, 103 hit points left. Just one more shot from Absolute Royal. No, Soviet's going to take it. Down goes the first tier 8 tank. Oh, something to remind everyone. Blazzy killed Relics in A6 as he was approaching the cap. Got to remind everyone of that. That is Relics down as Hugo Maximus face-hugging Dodoma right oh. now. And he will not be able to pen Hugo Maximus. Dodoma going to get hit yet again. Down he goes from that flank behind in the window. That is two tier eights being taken down. Scurry Hard being picked apart over here on their first battle on Himmelsdorf. Absolutely destroyed. Oh, NECA in the 5100 goes down. Ah, oh, I completely missed that one against Nagatron, Absolute Royal, and Soviet. Squirrelin is completely alone, but Hugo here going to take out Blazzy over in C5. Oh, so this is such a split up fight here. It's so hard to follow. Uh, F0X just going to go completely YOLO mode here. Just going going in on this T69, not even caring anymore. And ladies and gentlemen, if you thought Fulcrum Gaming 
does not know how to brawl. That's their biggest weakness. Think again, because they just pick their, their opponents apart, dissecting them into small, tiny pieces, and then crushing each and every one, not losing a single tier eight tank. GG, Fulcrum Gaming will take battle number one in match number three. Welcome to Steps. And as we take a look at the lineups for both teams, we see a Pershing friction in the Pershing for Fulcrum Gaming, along with two T69s, two 1390s, a LOL tractor, what? and a T1. For the other side, Scurry Hard, we see two T32s, two T69s, and a Whoa, WZ-132. This is kind of insane. Now, guys, if you guys don't know, the, the normal metagame so far, oh, a little bit of crossfire actually coming out right now. Squirrel and taking a lot of damage in that T32. Thankfully, he does have a lot of hit points, but still, you do not want to be at half-life entering the first real engagement. A couple of T69s and the Pershing being played by Friction uh, have been trading fires a little bit, but for the most part, Soviet only going to take, what is that, 300 damage? Yeah. A little bit more than that. So really nice trade-outs coming out from Vulcan already. But the normal metagame, as I was yeah. saying before, it's it's basically all auto loaders. Everybody's mm -hmm. like auto loaders, auto loaders. They're the best tanks. Let's get them. You do the most burst damage, and it's been great. No, these two teams, premier teams, not bringing in auto loaders in what I would consider the most auto loader auto loader heavy map that we've mm -hmm. had to date. I just I feel ahead of the meta right now. Pershings <laughs> all day. I love Pershings. Pershings all day or day. All day or day. Mix it with some T69s. You have some awesome burst, and then you have some consistent fire at actually greater DPM in a Pershing. That's right. And on top of that, with the T69 having that really fast reload, you don't have to worry about that huge lull that we normally get from those AMX 5100s or even the AMX 1390s. That being said, some really nice trades already going out here. Scurry Hard again having to go into the defensive position. Thankfully, they still have their T1s this time around to, to be those wars and those spotters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now we're going to see Fulcrum, I believe, come around and push the west side of the map. This is something they do so many times before. They've spotted out a T-32 in the east, mm -hmm. one more towards their uh, the Scurry Hearts base. So this indicates that the west side is open enough for them to push in. They're going to do that, Pershing and T-69 leading the way. They already have relics over in F-2, so there's no chance of a T-1, you know, revealing their push yeah. early enough to the, to the point where Scurry Hard can get that lead. Well, I'm very interested to see this LOL tractor come into play, actually. <laughs> uh, Definitely I, so. This is, this, we've seen this on the EU server now. Uh, so some of the other casters having trouble pronouncing uh, LOL tractor in its uh, actual proper pronunciation. Whoa. I can't. I avoid it. It's very funny to hear. Uh, it's, it's like us trying to pronounce uh, Prokhorovka. It's, it's just not well, good. We just do it perfectly. It is. Uh, well, most of us are horrible, actually. Well, uh, maybe you're and, horrible, And if we Randall. keep saying Prokhorovka, Maybe Soviet will just blow up. Yes. Pro Prokhorovka. Prokhorovka. Um, but I love the sharking around. Mm. You know, this is something that we've seen consistently in every single double blind scenario for every game. Just going back and forth really puts your opponents in a bad position because you see them in the east. All right. Scurry Hard mm. sees, okay, I know you're probably over there. The propensity is to defend against that east side. Yeah. But all of a sudden you sneak around to the west side or you can come back to the east side. And it, it puts in Scurry Hard's mind, like, oh, crap, I don't know where to defend at this point. Do Ooh. I defend just the east? Do Blazzy's I defend gonna just get the west? Here. And we're going to see. Blasi is pretty low in health. 813 hit points. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, and well, spotting can be a friction. He's going to spot Squirrel in as well. And he's going to spot Rylak. This is everything. This tells. Yes. This gives away most everything about Scurry Hard's Precisely. positioning. Precisely. And, and there was something I wanted to talk about, actually, the Pershing. You know, mm -hmm. when you have an all auto loader set up and you find a T1 tank and you destroy it, you have, you've wasted a shell for an auto loader. Yes. Meaning you have three shots left and you have to, you either hold onto those for more engagement or you back off. With a Pershing, you have that greater DPM, very similar to the T69, but you get consistent fire so you can do these pot shots all the time. Which means that a Pershing in the group can be ahead of everyone else. The T69s can hold back until an engagement is necessary, but the Pershing can keep making pot shots, use great vision. He has a decent camo rate, decent, not not a light tanks level, yeah, but it's yeah. better than a heavy, so much better. Which means he can hide in this bush and actually go without getting spotted, and he can put out these pot shots. His and, and not only that, he does, he does less average damage than mm -hmm. something like an AMX 5100 or something like. Um, 
What, what's the other big tanks? Uh, close to a C69, but still, it's not so much overkill to yeah. use up on, let's say, a T1. If I commit an AMX 5100 attacking a T1, all of a sudden, I've just done, on average, 300 damage yeah. to that T1. That's a lot of overkill. That basically means, hey, that T1 had 300 damage. That and is a lot of, I guess, wasted mm -hmm. wasted potential. Yeah, that's that's why sometimes you've seen uh, WZ-132s with the 85. Mm -hmm. that, that gun does very little damage, and it's just, but it's still plenty to kill a T1. And so that's a great tank for T1 hunting. You'll just walk around the map destroying T1s and then running away. D with a 1390, I mean, we've seen so many 1390s miss the first shot and then have to use that second one. Yeah. Uh, we saw that on Abby earlier today. Yeah. Uh, so, real quick, I want to talk um, right now because yeah. there's there's a lot of movement going on from Fulcrum Gaming. I love what the Pershing has been doing. Constant fire out into the top left-hand quadrant of the map. That basically says, do not rush into me because I'm going to shoot you. I have tanks behind me. Guess what? A big flank coming out from the eastern side ready. And they're able to do this under the shroud of map control, right? Mm -hmm. Fulcrum Gaming has been able to establish a fantastic line of non sight of a shroud basically yes and now they're able to position perfectly they have the great concave will they be able to execute the engagement and on t and what's great is friction if he gets pushed on he's in a pershing he can leave yeah he, he can, can just run away yolo man yeah you don't you don't have to worry about anything blasi again taking a little bit of damage oh is that down zero? Is, is that a zero x actually getting that damage out in his in his lull tractor uh. <laughs> i think it is that really no, I, I want to see this. I want to see this. If I, he pens. I really do not know. Oh, that would have been so great. I didn't see how much damage he took. But this is the, the Lol Tractor is actually dealing damage. This is the stock gun, I believe, having the highest pen out of any Lol Tractor gun. He can actually pen tier 8s. And now look at the position of Scurry Hard. Or, yeah, of Scurry Some Hard. They can't really cross the train tracks. You need to cross the train tracks to get, I would say, good shots. If they approach the train tracks, all of a sudden, that one tank that is approaching the train tracks is going to get blown up. So they need to be over to fully commit to something like, let's say, a Pershing or even the T-32s. Actually, there are no T-32s, so well, I'll strike that. Uh, T-32s on, on the on Squirrel Hard. Side. Squirrel and takes a blind shot on Friction here. It looks like Friction and Squirrel have been trading a little damage. Friction actually lost oh. his Radio Man, and he's getting great hits out on Squirrel. Uh, Squirrel was using his Sixth Sense to detect when Friction would be peeking out in this Pershing, and he tried to blind fire when that happened. But Friction, being smart enough to realize that that was coming, backed off in anticipation of that fire, Squirrel and fires, misses. Then Friction gets a free shot. Here it happens again, exact, perfect example. And he's going to get time to line up his shot. Come on, Friction, line up your shot. No? No, he's not going for it. Uh, he could. Uh, I think he's just worried about uh, extra crossfire. Another yeah. shot is going to come off here. Squirrel and not able to pen into that Pershing. Uh, you know, we, we do have to consider the Pershing has fantastic armor to do these poke outs, these corner games. Um, the T-32 does as well, but the weakened hull is definitely a big priority target mm -hmm. that you want to focus on. It's being done very beautifully. F-Zero-X in his L tractor is going to... Uh, is he really going to approach? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's gone over. He's <laughs> kind of towards the bushes. He doesn't care. Kinda he's funny. a T-1 scout. He's just going to go forward, man. And the low tractor, man, this is this is the low tractor being awesome. I, I mean, we've seen T1s all the time, but yeah. when on an open map like this, when T1s don't often uh, get Here's the big fight. engagement, though. I'm sorry to cut you off. That's yeah, fine. Squirrel, uh, is it Squirrel? And yeah, he's going to go down. Unreal, absolute royal. Now Blazzy goes down. There is such little hit points for Team Scurry Hard. It's so difficult for them to really make these commitments. And guess what? Fulcrum Gaming, they're just picking away a little bit of hit points at a time and then going for it. There's a big, big surround now coming in from the north side and the south side as everybody is going to get cleaned up and surrounded. Uh, absolute Royal getting messed up here. He misses two shots, but looks like that is friction incoming. Pershing versus T69. Neck has already spent two or three shots. He might, oh, he could be even on reload right now. Oh, it looks like he is. Friction's gonna have a free kill here as Rylak gets cleaned up by oh. Nagatron in the backfield, and then Squirrel oh, Tag no, gets killed out by F0X. <laughs> That's uh, so funny. Absolute Royal just saying, I don't even care. Uh, Nagatron, you kill stealer. Down he tank. goes. Of course, the T69 always has to kill steal. Mm. GG, Nagatron will take the 2 0 victory. Ladies and gentlemen, match number three of the WGLNA. Can Scurry Hard come back? We'll find out. Battle number three after this. We go into our next match. Now Why don't we jump right in? It. Yeah. Yep, let's do it. It is on Ruinberg, ladies and gentlemen. Scurry Hard again and down 2 0. You know, you guys can just tell me to shut up.
No, you, guys you were on a roll, man. Yeah, <laughs> you were just going. Everything was correct, and and we really want to get that out to the viewers. Um, but Fulcrum is going to start out in the south side. This is something that we don't normally see. Actually, on most Runeberg games in the WGLNA, we haven't seen Fulcrum starting out on the south side. So this is going to be a nice. Um, Nice change of pace. Although I don't think the lineup is all that uh, innovative for Fulcrum. I think we've, have we seen 250, 100, 2IS3s in 1390? I'm, I'm happy to see Absolute Royal in a 1390. This makes me so happy because he is a well-reputed uh, scout. He is just, he is known for being a very confident scout. One of the best, uh, if not the best scout, North America. Really? Yes. So, so well, let, me, let me ask you, what is yeah. the, the coefficient if I was doing X times Randall Rukil Holcomb. X times? I, I, I'm not going to. Equals Absolute Royal. Is he like 1.1 times better than you? 1.2 times better than you? Maybe 1.1, 1.2. Really? Yeah, it depends at the time. Are you because sure it's not less than one? It, it's, he, is, he is certainly better at me in many ways. Oh, he, okay. is, uh, he is, I'd say, a more confident 5100 driver as well, so I'd give him a lot of flexibility. He's a very smart guy. Uh, if you ever have a conversation with him, talk to him about scouting. He will just... It's, it's a great conversation well, to have. He's going to scout out across this field and screen, hopefully, for their uh, for his team, as Fulcrum Gaming is doing a fast cap strategy on Ruinberg. Very common to do this from the south side. And we're already going to see absolute, absolute Royal take up a tier one. And he actually caught fire there for a second, burning an auto fire extinguisher. Wow. So unfortunate there, friction here has backed off the capital, All right. but Blazzy there across the way is in a 5100 over in A7A8. It looks like NECA though is gonna come around. They're gonna try and come around to this fight, but Friction and Hugo have gotten off the cap as it looks like Soviet, wow, is almost going down here. So low. Yep, as only, they're only shielding two people relics. on cap right now, yeah. and uh, the screen has been uh, kind of kind of, um, I would say, ineffective at this point. Friction now going to push out with his IS-3. Already two tier 8 tanks going down. Friction will go down now to exchange out. Hugo Maximus is the next person on the list. One person is capturing with all the po points. I don't know who that is. I'm sure it's the tier 1 at this point. But uh, Fulcrum kind of giving it up at... Dodoma is going to go for a stopping cap here, but he's not going to find anyone. He's going to go for relics. Relics is going to go down. And but that was the majority of the cap points. So that nice was defense. all of them. That was all the cap points. They put it all in relics. Hugo's going to take a big hit. Oh, wow. So all of a sudden, Fulcrum Gaming might be in a tough position. Two IS3s or one IS3. Or not. Three is uh, out. If you <laughs> Yeah, Rylak is going to line up a oh. shot, and he misses against Hugo Maximus. What positioning out of Hugo. He had his turret in the perfect position. He had his hold in reverse angle just in time for Rylak shot to come in. It looks like Absolute is going to almost smash into Rylak. Oh. He's about reloaded. I assume Nagatron is loaded just now. <laughs> and look at that. He's going to stop Rylak from moving back. Another pen. Another pen goes down. Nagatron will clean up the kill. And on the other side of the map, F0X is going to try and clean up Squirrel, uh, Squirrel Tag. He is in a T1, so T1, TV, yeah. T1. Not a, no Lull Tractors this battle actually wanting to fight T1 v T1. A Lull Tractor I don't think would win in that kind of fight. Definitely Good job, F0X cleaning and it up. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Fulcrum Gaming taking it 3-0, going up 6-0 overall in group stages. That means Scurry Hard will fall to 5-1. and one. Still a valiant effort, but absolutely demolished from Fulcrum Gaming. This is why we were saying they are the favorites.